everybody, I'm Charlotte and this is my son Toby and we're getting ready for a birthday party today. Yes, that's right. Do you like parties? You do! Amazing, they're so much fun, aren't they? What's your favourite thing about parties then? Uh-huh, great choice. They're so much fun. You've got the dancing, you've got the party games, you've got the uh, birthday cake and you've got the party bags too. Well, today is a very special party because we're going to a fancy dress party. That's right. The children have been asked to dress up as their favourite animal. Can you guess what Toby's favourite animal is? What is it? That's right, a bee! He's dressed as a bee. And he likes to buzz around at home, creating chaos wherever he goes. And he loves honey on his porridge as well. So... Today's story is also about a bee. That's right, Toby, it's about a bee, isn't it? It's called Barry the Berry Bee. He does not like honey at all. That's the only difference on that, Toby. And it's written by Newton Park. Barry was a bee and he didn't like his hive. He hated honey more than any bumblebee alive. It made his friends sad and they didn't find it funny when bees came and made jokes about their horrible honey. But Barry couldn't help it. He just really couldn't eat that sweet golden syrup that his friends saw as a treat. It smells sickly. It's so sweet and it's stuck to my feet. I hate the stuff, but I'll find a way. I really won't be beat. So he thought and he thought until his head was sore. Then he thought and he thought and he thought some more. From dawn to dusk he sat in his sector, thinking of things he could do with his nectar. After the day had passed with not one idea, the Queen came along for a word in his ear. She was angry and spoke in a tone that was rough. Barry, I've had it, I've had enough. You whine and complain and our honey you mock. You've made our hive a laughing stock. If you don't start working and doing what's right, I'm afraid I'll make you leave tonight. With that, she flew off and Barry started to cry. So he flew out of the hive with tears in his eyes. He sat all alone and fell asleep on a rose when a garden fairy came and woke him up from his doze. What are you doing? The fairy said gently. Why are you here, far away from your bed? Barry replied, My friends don't want me. I don't like their honey. The fairy said, So, there are many things that are yummy. We're not all the same and we have different tastes. These words cheered Barry and away he raced. He flew off so quickly and now feeling quite merry, he flew straight into a bush full of berries. He fell and he landed face first with a thump into a red, juicy, sweet, smelling lump. The berries got stuck in his mouth and his feet, and as Barry chewed, he smiled. Now this is a treat. He took as much fruit as he could hold in his hands, and he went back to the hive and made honey jam. He was nervous now. It was tasting time. But when he tried the red mix, it tasted divine. Now night time was here and all of his friends they slept as Barry collected more fruit and he crept all around the hive until the sun lit the land by which time it was full of red honey jam. When Barry woke up he thought it was a dream until he heard the queen let out a scream. Our honey is ruined and it's collection day. When the people taste this they'll send us away. Who could have done this? Who soured our crop? Then Barry let out a meek little cough. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry, your, your Highness, but, but I think this tastes good. Then the Queen yelled crossly, Barry, I should! Luckily, at that moment, the man came to collect and he reacted in a way the Queen didn't expect. He tasted the honey jam and cried with delight. You clever bee, clever little bees, this is just right. My customers wanted a new kind of honey. This new stuff will make me lots of money. With that, the man turned and skipped away with joy. 
and the bees stared at Barry, who smiled back, looking coy. The Queen said, You were very lucky. This is no place for change. However, it appears the people like our new range. I guess change can be scary, but embrace it we should. For changes will happen and change can be good. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon for another story. Take care. Sweet dreams. Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are The end. <laughs>